Hey everyone, today we're going to be making a beef stew with tea biscuit. So I actually used steak for mine. So I trim the all the fat off that I can possibly trim off. I leave the fat in big chunks so that I can actually find it later. I do put the fat in my beef stew at the beginning because of the taste, but cut up your steak into bite-sized pieces. Now the spices that we'll be using today is peppercorn, rosemary, and bay leaves, along with some salt. About a tablespoon of peppercorns, about a half a tablespoon of rosemary, a couple bay leaves, and maybe less than half a teaspoon of salt you'll be able to crush that down to a fine powder if that's what you so desire but I'm not quite that fanatical about it I do leave some I guess rather big chunks in there the uh, Dutch oven that I'll be using is the my Lodge 5 quart Dutch oven turn the heat up about halfway once you see it smoking you know that it's ready add about a quarter cup of butter and then add your steak and your spices. So you cook that for about 10 minutes while you're actually cooking up your steak. Cut up your onions, get that ready to go. Now I like a lot of onions. Some people might not like quite so much, but I do. Then I fish the fat out because I figure that uh, it's reduced enough and actually throw the fat out to the seagulls because, uh, well, we do like feeding our local seagulls. Add the onions, add in some red wine, add in some beef concentrate and then you can let your beef stew actually simmer for a couple hours it softens up the beef really really tender and uh, once you've done that you're going to want to get your potatoes and carrots ready now I like steaming mine now not everybody actually wants to steam their vegetables but that's uh, you know you can put them in raw right into your beef stew and cook those right in with the beef stew uh, however, this way it actually shortens the cooking time so that you can actually serve it up right away. Now, at one point when the vegetables are actually done, you are going to want to have a gravy. So uh, you'll notice here my gloved hand because that cast iron gets really hot. About a third cup of flour. Cook that up for about five minutes so that way there you get the flour taste out. Once you've cooked that for five minutes, add about three cups of water and then add your vegetables, stir it around, and you're pretty much ready to serve right now. So, got any questions? 